you guys. Happy birthday. So let's connect with Archangel Metatron just to get some general life messages for Cancers. Peace and blessings for Archangel Metatron. What are some general messages you have for the Cancers? Some type of travel is here. So some of you guys are planning a vacation. Possibly the sacred temples. If you know how to astro travel, try to travel to the angel realm or try to try to travel uh, to like um, Palladian star system. But some of you guys could be traveling, going on a vacation to a destined, um, like one of those destination marriages. And you guys are gonna have a family. So someone could be possibly traveling to like a wedding destination for a marriage. And you guys are gonna have some children. It's one perspective. There's a lot of cards here. I'm gonna put them back, okay? So really quickly, Archie Metatron, what are some what are three cards of advice you have for the cancers? The collective energies of cancers. Just some type of fear-based energy here. Um ego energy so you guys need to work on releasing fears that no longer serve you make sure you're saying your your prayers in the morning make sure you're, you're saying positive affirmations to uh release fear what else two more cards oh my goodness gracious somebody's afraid that their person is getting married to somebody else, possibly a karmic. Because travel came out again, and it's commitment card, but it's just plain and safe. Plain and safe to me is like settling almost. Oh my gosh, I'm sorry if someone's going through something like this. Someone is worried that their person is traveling and sneaking off to a wedding destination, possibly because of kids. Maybe it's his baby mother. So he can save money, maybe money's involved, the consciousness of lack. But somebody is planning a marriage. Planning on traveling back into a commitment because of kids. Maybe they don't want to pay child support anymore. Interesting. Um, let's clarify the cards. Archangel Metron, clarify fear. You're someone's afraid that it's over. It's dead. Someone's afraid that their connection with their person is dead because he's getting ready to travel to go into a commitment, a, possibly a legal commitment, a marriage with a karmic. Oh my God, I'm sorry. This is a wishing well. Well, maybe it's someone's wish that this person, maybe it's a karmic. I don't think so. I feel like this might be you, Cancer. Maybe you're afraid that it's over and that your wishes are not, your wishes and manifestations are not going to manifest. Clarify travel. Clarify travel. Here goes this polar bear energy. It's a mother. Look, a snake. Oh my gosh. See? This snake energy here is controlling. Someone's mother, this polar bear's mom represents the mother. So someone's mother, Cancer, is controlling a situation or a baby mother. Either, either it's the masculine's mother or, or it's his baby mother, who's a snake, a karmic evil entity snake energy here, okay? It's controlling, because 11 is all about, this is the whip, it's all about controlling. Someone's controlling his mind, his thoughts manipulation this is manipulation oh boy that's like playing it safe karmic energy that's like playing it safe archangel metatron, archangel metatron said you got it it's the karmic because your this masculine is uh is wealthy is wealthy he's wealthy he's financially stable and someone's mother wants the masculine to take his money and stability to a karmic. Someone's mother who needs to shut the hell up and sit down and stay out of it. Yo, I, yeah, 
me so confused. I just asked Arby Jemaine, Jemaine Charles, is my masculine's mother? He said, no. There's other karmic mothers who, who, who want to be controlling, controlling their son. Clarify wealthy man. Clarify wealthy man. See, he came, into, he came into some type of sudden wealth here. He came into some type of sudden wealth. I'm, I'm think I'm feeling this person has children. This is a baby mother situation. And maybe he doesn't want to pay child support with his consciousness of lack. Maybe he feels like he's going to lose so much money because he has money. So a lot of men do have the mentality that it's cheaper to keep her. They would rather settle with a karmic snake than go to their true love because of money. That's greed. And greed is one of the seven deadly sins. Nothing positive will manifest for this masculine if he chooses to settle. Clarify commitment. Clarify commitment. Pregnancy. There's a pregnancy. Fishes resonate with pregnancy. I know this in this deck, the fish card represents wealth and prosperity, but fishes also represent preg a pregnancy. So there could be a possible pregnancy here. So that's why he's going into a commitment. Yeah, this is a relationship. Courtship. <sighs> I'm sorry, guys. This is bad. I wasn't expecting this today. A consciousness of lack. What other messages do you have about consciousness of lack on your Metron? He said, you got it. Cheaper to keep her. It's cheaper to keep her. The karmic. It's cheaper to keep her. This, this masculine doesn't want to pay child support. He got caught up with a snake. Look over, over money. Because she's a thief. People out here plotting and planning. The karmics out here plotting and planning to steal your man. To steal your person. Over money. Someone's masculine fell into a pregnancy trap. And he's getting married to the karmic. He's getting ready to go travel. Possibly a destination wedding. I'm sorry to, that that happened, Cancer. I wasn't really expecting that to come out in the collective. But that's what's happening for some, some for some Cancers here. Message of concern, and that's why that's why you're that's why uh, you're in this fear-based energy because he tell he told you some of these some of these guys told you he told you, huh? Well, at least he had a ball to tell you and communicate. But some type of communication here. Maybe you saw something on social media message of concern and now you're afraid that he's going he left you or he's no longer dealing with you that it's dead your connection is dead because he went back to go work things out with his baby mother occupation dang look listen everybody's going through karmic situations i wasn't expecting that to come out in the reading today cancer i'm sorry guys but um that is a general reading today for cancers let's get an archangel raphael card Look at this karmic energy on the bottom of the deck. Sexual lust energy. That's all they have. That's all they have, and that's what the masculines fall for. If you have sons, make sure we make sure us divine feminines, us divine beings, men, men and female, that we, we try to raise our sons to be better and not to make decisions based off sex. Archangel Raphael, what is one healing message you have for the Cancers who are in fear-based energy right now? Block spiritual gifts is here. So make sure you are balancing your chakras, take purity baths, and think positive, okay? You need to tra transmute this fear-based energy into thinking positive. Archangel Raphael, what is one healing message you have for the Cancers? you got um, two cards. So if your person did go run off to go get married to a karmic, you need to forgive that person and release him because uh, it's dead right now. All right, so forgive your person for getting caught up with a snake and take some, take some time out for yourself to heal. Don't rush into another relationship right now. Give, your, give yourself all the time you need for to heal yourself if you feel betrayed. You know, it takes time to heal. Because trust me, you don't want to manifest a new partner while you're still unhealed. You're going to attract the same person. So make sure you cut all energy cords between you and your person. 
that ran off to go get married to somebody else with Archangel Michael, cut all cords of attachment between you and your person and take some time to heal. All right, do things that make you feel better. Watch comedy movies, make you laugh. Go spend, go spend time in nature. Okay, Cancer, I hope, you know, I wish I, it was a better reading today. I'm kind of surprised it came out like that. But um, think positive, take some time for yourself and heal. All right, guys, have a blessed day today. Bye.